Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars. This week I've been testing the Tinko Floor One S3 Smart Wet Dry Vacuum Cleaner. I've tested a lot of these hard floor cleaners over the past few years, and I've never really been that big of a fan. But after putting the Tinko S3 through all kinds of tests this week, I think I finally figured out why these cleaners are so popular, and that the Tinko S3 in particular has solved some of the problems I've noticed in the past with similar machines. So links in the description, and let's get started. When I say hard floor cleaners, I'm speaking of these upright machines that have soft brush rollers. You fill their water tanks with water, and in this case, just a cap full of the included solution. You press a button which starts the brush spinning, and in this case, it automatically dispenses water. It can pick up everything from big, nasty, wet spills to larger, dry debris. The Tinko Floor One S3 is cordless, and a lot of companies are putting out cordless versions of these because it is such a natural fit. Not only because it gives you more freedom without the cord, but also also because these machines don't need a large motor and thus don't need a lot of power, so they can do the job just as well without the cord and still give you a lot of battery life. The S3 has a few unique features as well. For example, it has the Tinko all-in-one LED display, which displays alerts and power level information, but most importantly for me is the real-time battery life display, where you can tell exactly how long you have left before you need to recharge. It has something I haven't seen before, which is app compatibility for performance monitoring and maintenance reminders. Probably not terribly useful, but it is unique. Most of the other stuff that's unique or interesting about the S3 can be covered as we talk about the various performance tests. I did most of the following tests alongside the Tinko's most obvious competitor, the Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max. I tested them with all kinds of spills and stains and debris on a number of different surfaces and found that the Tinko S3 was as good or better than others I've tested. For example, with the dried on stains, it and the Crosswave were virtually identical, cleaning the stains in just one pass. Same thing with the wet liquid test. Both the Tinko and the Crosswave picked up the spills with no trouble at all. It was as good as you would want them to be in that regard. Where I started to notice a difference was with the bigger messes. This was mostly because of the Bissell Crosswave having a lower profile in the front, so the Tinko was able to pick up larger spills better. It also tended not to get as messy for the same reason. Another difference was that the Tinko has a sensor integrated with the LED display, and when it's in auto mode, the sensor automatically increases the brush roll speed and the suction power if it senses you're vacuuming larger messes. And it will show the increase in power using the dirt monitor loop. This is contrasted with the Crosswave, which has just the one power setting. Speaking of the power, I tested their suction power in a couple different ways, and the Tinko S3 did have more suction power than the Crosswave in both tests, but I have to say it wasn't something I really noticed in the pickup tests. As I said, they seemed really similar. I suppose the higher suction power on the Tinko could affect drying times, which is something that Tinko advertises as being good with the S3, and it did seem to dry very quickly, but I didn't really have a chance to test or compare that thoroughly. Another important thing is the battery life. The S3 has a pretty large battery compared to their previous offerings, and they claim it can get 35 minutes of runtime, but that can vary depending on how much the auto mode decides to increase the suction. I tested it by seeing how many times I could clean my 182 square foot room in auto mode, and I was able to clean the room 12 times in 20 minutes until it got to 50% power, where I stopped because I was tired that day, sorry science. But if the second half was the same as the first, it would mean that I could clean the room 24 times in 40 minutes, which works out to a whopping 4,368 square feet per charge. I also would have used about two tanks of clean water. So all that's really good, but there were two main things this week that convinced me to change my mind about these hard floor cleaners. The first is that I finally figured out where these things fit in the vacuum cleaner world and which type of customer would most benefit from them. For example, if you have mostly hard floors in your house, with maybe a few rugs here and there, and you're really just looking for a way to vacuum and mop your floors at the same time, but are not really interested in this for mopping big messy spills, the Tinko S3 is amazing. The big thing is that it's a hard floor vacuum at the same time. And because of that soft roller, it's a particularly good hard floor vacuum. So you can vacuum and mop your floors at the same time, which means you cut your floor cleaning time in half. Most of the super positive reviews I've read about this were people using it just this way, as a vacuum mop combo for homes with mostly hard floors. Because why do two things when you can just do one thing and have it be just as good, if not better than both? The other thing that changed my mind about these is the cleanup process. 
The reason I've not really liked these types of cleaners in the past is because when you mop up big spills, it takes longer to clean the machine afterwards than it would have just to pick up the spill by other means. There's just a lot of nooks and crannies in the machine that you need to pay attention to and clean, and that's important, especially if you're vacuuming up SpaghettiOs or something. Recently though, manufacturers have been getting better with the cleaning cycles in the software, where you set it on its base, make sure there's water in the tank, and push a button. It then goes through a process to clean its brush and to a certain extent other areas of the machine. The Tinko S3, in addition to cleaning the brush and the area behind the brush well, it also included a mode to flush the internal plumbing, which it did twice. I did before and after shots, after the really messy pickup tests, and after the light duty cleaning of my house. Long story short, the S3's automated system was the best I've seen yet, and while I still would double check it and wipe it down a little if I was cleaning up SpaghettiOs, just to be safe, if you're just using it to mop your house without big spills, the cleaning cycle should be all that you have to do, which takes away the last barrier I had with recommending these machines. As far as the negative things that I noticed, the first thing would be the auto mode with the sensor that adjusts the suction was not very sensitive, so it took a pretty chunky mess for it to really kick in and increase the suction. But on the other hand, I didn't really mind that because I would prefer it not to be sensitive because I don't really see much of a benefit in more suction power anyway, and because I would prefer the longer battery life. The dirty water tank is mostly easy to empty as long as you're using it in regular ways. It has a little strainer for larger debris and hair, but if you pick up a lot of dry material, it gets really messy and you'll have to run water over it to get it clean. I liked that the water was automatically dispensed, but because you can't control the water flow, it's not recommended for rugs. You can still quickly get a thing or two from rugs, but only if you don't mind the rug getting slightly damp. I did vacuum rugs a little with no issues, but it probably wouldn't be something to make a habit of. So if you have mostly hard floors in your house, I think the Tinko Floor One S3 is a really good value. It's like getting a top-notch cordless vacuum that mops at the same time. I think it will save you time and I think be an overall upgrade to your floor cleaning. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.